Yes, welcome back. Second law of the indices. We've done the first one now. We've done some example questions. And the second law of the indices, we have noticed already, uh, said that um, a to the power n, m, divided by a to the power n equals a to the power m minus n. Okay? Now, don't be scared of all those a's, m's, and n's while I start throwing these markers on the floor. Yeah, because I'm going to show you why this makes complete sense. Yeah? It's nothing to worry about. But in general, if the bases are the same, so they're both an A or an X or a Y, then you and you are dividing, then you should subtract the indices. Yeah, M minus N. Now, um, what have you been doing? Let's, let's look at an example already. Uh, let's do um, X to the power 5 divided by x to the power 3. Well, the second law of the indices says if the basis is, are the same and you're dividing, you should subtract those indices, so 5 minus 3. The answer is x to the power 2. Now, why does that make sense? Let's have a look at what x to the power 5 means. What does it mean? Well, that means x times x times x times x, 1, 2, 3, 4, times x, right? x to the power 5 means x times x times x times x times x. Divided by x to the power 3, x times x times x. Yeah, x times x times x. Good. Now, what are the common factors here? Let's put some crosses through some common factors. That's a common factor. That's a common factor. That's a common factor. So, what is left now? Left is x times x what you need is x to the power 2. Yeah, that's 5 minus 3. So that makes complete sense. Now I'm going to write this out every time. No, of course not. Because if I have x to the power 105 divided by x to the power 15, am I going to write that whole thing out? x times x times x times x times x. Of course not. Second law of the indices makes complete sense. The base is the same, x over x, yeah? So I subtract those indices, why? Because basically I'm just getting rid of those common factors. So the answer here is x to the power, 105 minus 15, 90. Okay? Now, um, before we get to do some example questions, I wanna show you one more thing. Um, what shall I do? 16, so I do 16. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's do 16 divided by 4. Who can give me the answer to this? 16 divided by 4. Indeed, the answer is 4. We all know that. Okay, but now look at this. I'm going to rewrite this question, 16 divided by 4, in index form. Now, what does that mean? Well, 16, that is the same as 2 to the power. Now, let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Do you agree with that? Divided by, now what about 4 in index form? That is 2 to the power 2. All right, there we go. Good. So I've rewritten 16 divided by 4 now. The same question, but now rewritten in index notation. Yeah? The bases are the same. Yeah, and the second law of the indices, they tell me if those bases are the same, you subtract the indices. Yeah, the bases are the same, I am dividing, yeah, when you're dividing that is. So 4 minus 2, so the answer is 2 to the power 2. And indeed, that is 4. Yeah, we knew that, but just to show you that that makes sense. So if it's not 2 to the power 4 divided by 2 to the power 2, but now it is y to the power 4 divided by y to the power 2, we understand that the answer to that is y to the power 2, eh? 4 minus 2. Yeah? Just to show you the relationship between algebra and just ordinary numbers, yeah? it all makes complete sense. Okay, next video for some example questions involving the second law of the indices. See you there.